Hello out there all you keen geographers and welcome to another how to skills video. This video I'm going to show you how to make a bar graph using Microsoft Excel. Um, this is my data that I'm going to represent in a bar graph here. Um, so I'm looking at the litres of water used to produce one kilogram of all these food types. So that's the data I'm using today. Um, first off, when you're plotting your data in your Excel spreadsheet, it's really important that you put your data in descending order. So you're starting with your highest value up here and then you're going all the way down to your lowest value. So your bar graph looks nice and tidy. So I'm going to start off by highlighting all of my data like so by clicking and dragging. And then I'm going to click on insert and I'm going to click on recommended charts. And I'm going to use this first one here called a clustered column bar graph. I'm going to start off by deleting the title now that I've got my graph in here. I'm going to make it a bit bigger too so I can work with it a bit easier. The first thing I'm going to do is add some X and Y axis titles. So here I'm going to go food type and then on my Y axis I'm going to go liters of water. And of course that's measured in liters so I'm going to put that in brackets. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm not happy with um, the placement or, or sort of the alignment of my labels here. So I'm going to right click on these and go format axis. I'm going to click on this one here called size and properties. And then when it says text direction, I'm going to change it to rotate text 270 degrees. So that looks just a little bit neater. Okay, I've got my graph the way I want it now. So I'm going to right click on it and go copy. I'm going to go to my Word document here. And I'm going to put it in like so. And now I'm going to figure and source it using geographical conventions. So figure one, litres of water used to produce one kilogram of certain food types. And then my source got my data from this report here. So I'm going to copy and paste the URL like so. And I'm just going to put that all on the same line. Now I need to reduce the spacing. So I'm going to highlight everything here. I'm going to go to spacing. I'm going to put one. Actually, I'm going to go remove after spacing. All right. So guys, that is how you do it. Thanks for watching this video and good luck with all your geography skills.